discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fat Nasty Nerd Run Throughs, and this time we are doing top 10 games I don't like. No, that, wait, is it that one? No, games I thought I would like, but didn't. Or games we thought we would like, but didn't. Uh, this is probably going to be the first top 10 where, you're, where there's going to be some debate. It's going to be <laughs> some. Brad mentioned the. He has some games on here that's probably going to. Maybe. You kind of piss me off. Maybe, maybe. But, yeah, yeah. No, this one's exciting. I'm, I'm excited because this one was actually kind of depressing. I know we might have talked about it earlier, but I was looking through it and I was like, man, these all showed great promise, but for some reason or another, they didn't. Now, we never talked about this on my other. Oh, it's the table. My table's freaky. Um, we haven't talked about this in the other ones that you've been in, but how did you make your list? I make my list. I, first of all, I will look at my collection. Okay. Which, uh, obviously, this one's not going to be because most of these on this list I don't own anymore. <laughs> don't own any, anymore. Um, I looked at what I've, my previously owned stuff, mm -hmm. too, and then, I'll, and then I will go, like, on BGG, look at their top 100, see if there's any that okay. I haven't missed or, or whatever. And, I'll, and yeah. I, keep, I keep track of my plays on an on a, uh, app. On oh, my phone really? Too, so I can okay. go back with when I play games with you guys or okay. whatever. And yeah, I, I, I log it through Board Game Geek now yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, now, so I did the same thing. I basically went through my, my uh, collection and I, and I looked at all the things I previously owned because I log it that way. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, obviously I'm not going to keep games I don't like, so which ones did I get rid of? And I, and I ranked them that way. Right. And how, and, and like, yeah, so, but how did you order them? Because the way I ordered mine, oh, or initially it was gotcha. going to be how much, like, the, it was going to be the difference of how much I thought I would like it versus how much I didn't. That, yeah. that was kind of, that was a little bit more difficult for me to do because the I don't like how much I don't like it outweighs how much I thought I would I can't really gauge my my emotions and reaction initially yeah. before I played it. Right, right. So eventually it just came down to it's it's kinda listed that way, but more it's how much I don't like the game. Right. Like Okay. See like, mine's, so mine's more if, the first way you answered. Mine's more like these are ones I wanted and if I disliked them that much more. Okay. And that's how I did mine. So yeah. It'll be a little yeah. different. Yeah. I, I guess like yeah. It <laughs> mine's gonna be the first five, so ten to six, if someone was like, hey, do you want to play this? I would. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. And these are, I, I wanted to clarify, these are not top ten games I hate. I would play, uh, you know, up to three. The first two I will never play again. I, I would actually play all of my games. Oh, really? Okay. Just, but they're just on there for different reasons. The first, the first two of mine are, are <laughs> I, no, I'll never play them again. But I really wanted to like them, but I really hate them. These, one of these would be, if I did my top 10 games I hate again, it'd be, it'd be on there. But you anyway, just went back to my top what 10 is like? You just went to my top 10 games all the time and... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, you, 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 you want to try to switch the table, we can. <laughs> no, we're fine. Okay. We're I fine. Alright, so, uh, we're going to start with an honorable mention, as always. Initially we weren't going to, but then I did think of one that, all, that almost made the list but didn't. Um, so I'll start. My honorable mention is actually Arcadia Quest. So Arcadia Quest is uh, a pure merit trash game. It actually the reason why it didn't make my list was because the more I thought about it, the more I actually realized I did have a lot of fun. And I did a series for it on my channel, mm -hmm. so it was a very stressful series, as they end up usually because you you crank out the games as quickly as right. possible, so you don't really get that you know experience and then like calm afterwards. Right. It's an merit trash game, so you're rolling dice and you're screwing each other over the entire time, competing guilds and stuff. So. Obviously, it's very emotional. You're pissed off if dice don't go your way. You're pissed off you're being targeted. So, but as I look back, I was like, you know, I actually really did have a lot of fun. Like, it's not just because the, the strongest guy in the game is Seth, because uh, he is. Yeah. He's totally the best uh, in the base game anyway, which is now I've played Inferno, yeah. and I totally kicked John's ass. Like, <laughs> I, I, I felt bad for him. Yeah. But, it, and I was like, if it made my top ten Ameritrash games, um, it... I, it couldn't be on this list of games I didn't like. Mm -hmm. If I didn't like it, it wouldn't have made any other list. So uh, I had to put it at 11, but at the time, I didn't like it. So, But now I, I actually do. Well, If someone yeah. were to offer it, I'd probably play, but I wouldn't play a campaign again. And, it, and if you remember, that was one of my top games of all time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and the reason being is... I, d I, I didn't look at no, 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 it. I know, I know. <laughs> I just, um, it, it's one of those things, though. I mean, I know... Because I have like four campaigns going right now. Jeez, I think. Arcadia Quest? With, well, I have one with just my girls, and then okay. one with my wife and girls, okay. and then one with another group, and then one with another Jeez. group. Um, but I think the what makes that game better, because if you get in the campaign style, I think that's what John's deal was. He just got picked in wrong characters. Yeah, like he's just getting yeah absolutely, up. yeah. It's, it's, it's just as fun just doing it like... 
this one off. Yeah, oh, yeah pick absolutely. A and go for it. And, yeah. then, and if you pick the wrong heroes, so we, oh well, it yeah. Take, it takes like forty-five side. minutes to an hour. You can jump right into another one. That's true. You know, so he he yeah. Well, I can't remember the the chick's name, but essentially all she could do, I think, was move fast. She could like move a little bit further. And I had some bomb ass characters, and so obviously <laughs> if it's and I don't think it's that great of a two-player game, because um, yeah. like there's not that much like. It's, it is one versus the other, and right. so it's easy to corner people, whereas if you try to corner someone, you're leaving yourself open for mm -hmm. people to sweep in. Right. So that's, that was my honorable mention, Arcadia Quest. Uh, that's why it's not on the list. All right. Well, my honorable mention is Dice Town. Did you play that one? No, I have not. Man, it's actually <coughs> you have How many games do you have in your collection? Like a little over 400. Like, and you have that at, like, at your house? Yeah. Okay, on your shelves? Yeah. Okay. Well, am I walking? Closer? Okay. Because like, I've... I've <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Because yeah. like, I've owned... And played, I think it's coming on maybe 250, mm -hmm. 300, but I don't have that many games. Right, right. Uh, I think I just finally broke 100. Well, this one, um, I don't own it anymore. Um, I got it because I was like, this is going to be a cool uh, themed game my wife might like and stuff. And she hated it. Like, literally <laughs> hated it. My kids hated it. And I was just like... And that just took it all out no, for me, that. too. I mean, they're going to see the, um, the cover. That's right. what I do, but I'm going to look it up. But uh, what it is, pretty much, is that you have a board set out. It's a Western theme. And you have these dice cups with dice in them. And on the dice, there's playing cards. You okay. know, like, so it's like playing cards. So when you, you go and you, you slam the cup, and then you have a, a, a uh, hand of cards. Okay. And then depending on who has the best hand of cards, gets first choice of where to to the dice. take their action, okay, you know, and stuff like that, and and you're just earning plots, you're earning gold, you're doing all this stuff, and I, Tom Bassel loves it, yeah, and that's one of the reasons I went and bought it, okay, um, and I hear the expansion makes it a lot better, but uh, by that time, yeah, the sour taste, like, the sour taste was done with my family and stuff, and I was just like. Yep. No use, no reason having it. We'll, know, like, we'll get. Yep, I'm, there's going to be a game <laughs> where I'm going to. Yeah. All right, so. But they didn't make it didn't make your list. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and actually get to the real list. Do you want to start at number ten? Yeah, this is gonna be the first one to get you mad. <laughs> I hate you. At least it's number ten. But yes. you would play this again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, you liar. Mice and Mystics. What? <laughs> Why? Why? It's so good. It is one of those. Yeah. I, I play tested for it a little bit in its infancy. Okay. Um. And it was really cool and everything, but I just can't get over the theme. Really? Okay. I, I, the, you know, the mice theme. That's I, fine. My, my, and I, and I, I, I bought it, you know, as soon as it came out. And uh, thinking, because that when it came out, my girls were in, kind of just getting into gaming. Okay. And I was like, hey, this would be a really cool one to get them in. Mm -hmm. They hated it the first time we played really? it. Really? Um, How old I were even they? Went, one's going into high school and one's going into eighth grade. Okay. So How old were they then? Has that been three years? When my three or four out? years, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it would have been okay. down into fourth, fifth, maybe. Yeah, something like right. that. But anyway, they and they just didn't care for the theme. You know, yeah. they they want more like blood guts, wow. zombies, and stuff like wow. that. They're they're more that kind of stuff. Okay. And I trained them right, but, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I even went as far as to download that the the files off of Plaid Hat's website where mm -hmm. uh, Summoner actually reads the stuff. Right, right. You know, because I thought, well, maybe that'll get him into it. And I tried it again, and it just, just didn't, didn't just, grab you. This didn't work, and I didn't care for the theme either. So maybe I was projecting a little bit, but yeah. But uh, that's it, that's fell. that's interesting. It, it's one of my it's not one of my favorite games, but right. it, it's one of my favorite couples games. Right, right. Um, but it, it does have that niche, like. Your mice and everything scaled down to a, to a mouse, but I don't know. I I, I, I really like it. If it would have had a dip, like if it would have, and I know generic fantasy has been done too many times, you know. But if it would have had that kind of a story when it came out, because there wasn't too many of those story at the time, yeah. generic fantasy kind of things. You know what I'm saying? So if it would have come out with just generic fantasy, like humans with a di little bit different you know, story, but done with the book. That's, that's perfect. I will I will give you or trade you. I'll probably just give it to you because I, I just give away games online. Cause I'll, I will I will give you of Dreams and Shadows if okay. you haven't played it because if you wanted it. that, no one has. No one. <laughs> I, it doesn't even have the publisher on the box. I didn't hear about you would, it. You brought it up. You would think one. you would think that game had was just in Kickstarter, but the way the rulebook was laid out, mm -hmm. the the map doesn't look that great, but it's 
written very well, the scenarios and stuff. John loves it. Um, he says it's better than Legends of Andor. I disagree. I remember um, Legends of Andor. It's, it's good. Yeah. But it's generic fantasy. So, I mean, if you want to try that, it's, it's hard. Mm -hmm. and, but you know what? Maybe, maybe you'll like that. <laughs> but yeah. I, I didn't. It's not on the list, though. Because okay. um, <laughs> I didn't know what to think of it when I went in. I didn't, it's not like I was like, oh, I hope that's good. All right. So that's number. That was your number ten. Yes. My number ten is Islebound, one of Ryan Lockett's uh, games. Um, and it's and the more I think of it, of it, like he's a great artist, and it's you don't get a lot of those designers who make their own games and do their own art. It's usually one or the other, and one or the other typically sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I love his art. I, I love his world. They're all set in the same world, but they don't really connect. It's right. just the races. And uh, maybe I had just played Islebound right after I played Above and Below. So I had a higher expectation mm -hmm. from his games because I love Above and Below, the story aspect and everything, and, and the actions all make sense. Um, but with Islebound, it may have, I've only played this two players because my girlfriend and I played it. There was just nothing to it. Like, it was so bland and generic. There was nothing like... like in all honesty, his games, every single one of his games has to have the, the story, I think. If the Islebound had, had a story booklet, encounter booklet, right, right. great. Yeah. Like, because you're pirates, I guess, or you, you can kind be of, pirates, yeah, yes. but you can also be merchants and, tra and not really trade resources, but just get goods. Mm -hmm. um, and you just, it was really just a lot of fetch quests. You know, pick up and deliver. I'm gonna go here to do this city action, and right. and then I'm gonna go here and rest, and, I'm gonna, and I was like, this really has nothing to it. Um, hell, even City of Iron had more meat to it, right? And I, I just didn't like that game because uh, I think it was unbalanced. I agree with you on this one. Oh, okay, um, good. Um, it's, I mean, I still, I've played it with four players, okay. And I think it was, I think it's better with more players. Probably, you know, I think it's more ideal with three to four. Yeah. Okay. Um, but um, I do. I, I'm the same way. I love Below was the very first Ryan Lockett game I ever played. Yep. And then yep. after I played that, I went on this Red Raven Games playing and went <laughs> yep. by Islebound City of Iron. And they're all like disappointing you know, all after stuff. it's just like Well City of Iron I'm not disappointed by. <laughs> but but the uh, I can see okay, I can see why people would like City of Iron, but I, I feel like it's unbalanced. Islebound though, I wonder. And I don't have do you have the expansion to it, the Metropolis? No, expansion? I I thought about getting it, but um, I mean I I, I, I didn't, I didn't like anything. I didn't like the uh, the base game enough. Yeah. Because I used to buy games and then their expansions immediately, but then I learned, hey, I'm wasting money because I don't, I don't like. Because right. I, don't, I don't feel like an expansion needs to fix the game. If the game's broken mm -hmm. from the get go, I'm not going to give you more money to right. <laughs> to enable your your shitty game making. Right. Well, I think it just added more. Yeah, like, and that's what expansions should do. Is like, really like so. it should either add more, you know, meat like Elder Torah stuff, just gives us more cards, so there's more right. variety. Or it's like, ah, oh, that was a nice story. I want another story. Here's another story. Stuff like that. So that's that's my number ten, Islebound. And I think, yeah, I probably could have put, uh, yeah. So Ryan Lockett, uh, Love Above and Below, Near and Far is okay. I I think I just, it was just a campaign thing. Yeah. Um. So I gave it a seven out of ten. Uh, so I, I'm still keeping it. Eight Minute Empire, I love. Uh, City of Iron, I think is a balance, as I've mentioned, so I don't have it anymore. First edition or second edition? Second. Okay. I have played the second edition, okay. and uh, I've heard the same complaints from first edition. I was like, I was like, I think they're still there. Right. Um, it, I have a weird complaint. Okay, so caveat. <laughs> this is a, we're gonna, I'm gonna digress and just go off on this, on this bunny trail with City of Iron. Uh, I've done a no run through review, so it, it is there. Uh, you can talk about why I didn't do run through for it. It's it's weird how I don't like it because I didn't go military, and my friend did, and he was winning the entire. He, I won the game, right? And I didn't go military, so it's weird how I say it's unbalanced, even though I didn't win by not going military. I didn't even try to stop him, right? But I could see, and I think it came down to I was more experienced with gaming than he was, so I knew kind of what to do more, right? But. What bothered me was I had to work way harder to squeeze a victory. I didn't win by that much either, like maybe five points. And I had to work way harder and just, you know, plan the whole game out right. to get that victory, which was worth it. But all he had to do was more military. Oh, I'm going to take that. Yeah. No one's going to contest. Oh, good. More points. Oh, I get, I get these goods as well. And I'm like, I, I have to buy this. I have to connect. And I'm like, you just get it. And so, and we've mentioned before in our gaming group, I don't like games where 
the game forces my strategy to alter. Right. You yourself can force me to change my strategy, which is perfectly fine. That's that's strategy for strategy. Not, oh, it's easier to go military. Well, I guess if I don't want you to win, I have to go military as well, so you don't go win in military. Right. That's how I felt City of Iron was. That's my review in a nutshell. Um, so I just I had to explain why it's weird because I won merchant even though I did I don't I don't know. Well, and that's the thing is my I've only played that with my family okay. twice, and I knowing that the military is that I purposely don't go that you way. Don't, I try okay. The other way, just because. Okay. I know how to play it more. I let them guys do, do whatever you want because then it make, makes them more comfortable. How many? How often do you win? Do you still I've win? only played it twice? Okay. I think I won once. My wife won. Okay, did she go military? Uh, yeah. Do you remember? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's my number 10, Islebound. Uh, so going on to number 9, it's just the two of us. This is nice. Yes. This is nice. <laughs> nice playroom. Like, yeah, it's so cool. It's, it's cool. It's hot as hell outside. And it's not going to be a two hour long top 10. Yep. All right. My number 9, I will be surprised if you have actually heard of because it's by, I think it's Z-Man. Okay. City of Remnants. Yep. You have heard of it? So, city, of, city of Remnants? Yeah, City of Remnants. I think it's City Plaid Hat. Plaid Hat, sorry. Yeah. It is, yeah. I don't know why I get yeah. They're kind of the same. <laughs> They're not at all. <laughs> Plaid Hat. Uh, so, City of Remnants, I actually got the game because of a Shut Up and Sit Down review. Mm -hmm. they, they were talking about it. Their actual review was hilarious for that game. But, actually, what I'm realizing is a lot of these games ended up coming down to, they just pretty much fell flat. There's nothing wrong with City of Remnants. Um, Mechanic, like mechanics wise. Right, right. Uh, it's just the way it seemed, it was going to be kind of like that, you know, gritty. I'm, you know, I'm running this underground market and you're a competing gang and we're going to be fighting each other. Um, that wasn't the case at all. And you had to go out of your way to stop people from doing their thing, which is fine. Um, but you can really just hole up in a corner. How many people did you play with? Three. Okay. Yeah. I've done it with, I've done it with three. Like two, obviously, yeah, you just do one side, one right, side, right, but right. three. Like you, you, no one's gonna get picked on in a three-player game, which I guess is good. Um, but even if you went into the middle, like yeah, I guess that's like the better spot. But you can do just as fine on the outside and just keep to yourself. Um, I didn't like the. There was no deck building in that game per se. It um, really needed it, an expansion or some more it, cards. It or needed something. something. It yeah. it needed something because the only cool thing about that game was the police that would basically kick open your door and you'd have to fight them. But even then, it was just like, you, you had so much money, you're just like, hey, here's five credits, leave me alone. They're like, okay, I'm level 10, bye. And I'm like, well, that wasn't, but it, it, at one point, it was like kind of suspense would be like, please, oh my God, I have my, I have my you know, casino, don't come in. And then they would, and, and then you just pay them off, and it was, it, it was very anticlimactic. The game is just... City of anti-climate, like, yeah, no, I, if I would have thought of that, it would have been on my list. Really? Yeah, okay. I, I totally blanked on that one because <laughs> I was no really one, excited yeah. for that game when it came out because yep. I'm a, work, being with Plaid Hat and doing mm -hmm. my playtesting with them, I was okay. anything, anything Plaid Hat I wanted to get, and I, I was super excited for that one and with Isaac Vega, I think, yeah, he was the mm -hmm. designer for it and everything. I think so, and, yeah. And I was... Uh, I was ready for it. It was. It and seems then so it just cool. Comes out the, and I was so disappointed with the little minis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I they were the bigger. They were like, you know, like little they, were the, they were like orange too. Well, there was orange green. That's right. Oh, based on yeah, you know, or whatever. And they did look but, different. I think. Yeah, they had different sculpts. Yeah, but they were just so tiny. They were so tiny. And and my big old sausage figures. I was just like sitting there, you know, <laughs> just knocking them all over. <laughs> but just then you had like the little, just the little bricks you laid down. I mean, it just. There were the so much more was possibilities for that and then, game. So <laughs> another reason what, what got me into it was, uh, shut up and sit down, you ruined this game for me. You oh, hyped, that's, who, that's who hyped it up for me. They too. hyped it up, yeah. and I love those guys, so if they ever watch this, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't awesome. agree with you guys all the time, but... Uh, so they hyped it up, and what the reason why it was like, yeah, you have your gang, and if they die, they get removed from your... So combat is actually like, it matters. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. Like, no, it didn't. Yeah. Like, and the stupid thing was, your gang leader, thematically, whatever, he was your only powerful card. All your other minions were only good if they play, if you played them with your gang leader. Right. But you ran the risk of them dying, and it's like, fine, I'm just gonna build over here and never fight. Well, and, and I played that. I played it several many times because I I just knew there was something I was missing. <laughs> there has to be something here. And um, there was one I can't remember what color it was. Maybe yellow was the one or green that did green. a bunch of card draw. Um yes, I the think the one that had the card draw. Green is the one that heavily relies on their gang leader. 
Yeah, but then the, I mean, just card draw that, that their whole deck was right, part, and it was just ridiculous. Well, the reason why is because they, so they all people. sucked unless they had their game leader, <laughs> right? And so my girlfriend played that, and she's we looked through the cards like it's not just like oh maybe she played. No, we looked through and but like I looked at the deck and I was like yeah you need the leader and he happened to die, mm -hmm. and it was like well these cards are useless. Yeah. We played it twice because I was like we had I was like you know, there has to be something here that we're missing, and. Uh, we played it twice, and the second time we played it with the Godfather soundtrack, which made it a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Like we actually had a slightly better time, but also I went out of my way to actually start attacking them. Like the first time, we thought the game would naturally do that, or it would eventually shrink, and where it didn't. <laughs> so we were like, "All right." So I went out and attacked. It made it a little bit better, but not, it just felt so yeah. flat. Playing it with four, there's a lot more attacking. I I would imagine you're so crammed, but you don't still, you don't really. You don't really have to. Yeah, you don't have to. The board is big yeah. enough. It needs to be. In the, it needs to be smaller. There needs to be better card. I don't that know. one probably. Gosh, you can kick something off. There's still well, plenty no, of. No, I'm not, not going to change it because I want these other ones on my list. <laughs> but it probably would have been in my top five. Really? Yeah. So that's good. I can't believe I overlooked that. One. I. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's my number nine. <clears throat> my number nine is it's also going to piss you off. <laughs> it might. I don't know if I've never heard you talk about it, but it's a pretty well known okay. game. Uh, Eclipse. Never played it. Um, it. Basically, I've heard it's Euro Twilight Imperium, so I stayed away from it. Right. Um, and I, you look at the box, you look at, uh, you read the little theme, the deal of it, story, it like yeah, awesome and everything, synopsis. and then I sit down and I just cannot. <laughs> I mean, it is like, I would rather go bang my head against the wall <laughs> ten times. You know, it's, it's um, and I don't know why, you know, I mean, I, there's nothing, I can't point to one in particular thing of that game that I think it's just, it's just a collection of everything. I just, it just does not go for me at all. So, I, I heard about this game early on in my board gaming career, which is like, hmm, maybe three or four years now? My channel's been going on for, I think, maybe two. Um, but at the time, like, I was huge into Ameritrash. I had to have theme, it had to have, you know, minis. Obviously I've skewed away from that, but it's like, as long as the game's good. But I watched Rado do a playthrough of it, or his, his run through, and I was like, nope, like really? You yeah. just build up to take resources from it? No, no, that's not fun. I wanted more, I guess I wanted more. You probably, attacking have you, you haven't played Zaya? No. Okay, so I think you would really like Zaya because of <laughs> You get that Twilight Imperium feel of you know the four X mm -hmm. exploration with combat. You can you can be a bounty hunter, you can be a pirate, you can do all that stuff, and you know carry goods illegally across. Or if you do that, you can get caught. So now you have a bounty. So now it's worth points to come find you and kill you. Right. But you're also advancing your ship. But you can also do the resources. So you basically scale down Eclipse way more and add in more. It's basically a combination, I guess, of Twilight Imperium and Eclipse. So I think that would be. Well, that, well, and I've never even owned this game. Oh, really? <laughs> like, because my other group that I play with mm -hmm. is like obsessed with it, and I played it like four times, four straight weeks, and I was just like, Couldn't I'm not it. going if you guys play this game anymore. And, well, I, and I was like, okay, maybe it was just it being on the table. So I was like, then the app came out. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm gonna download that. So I wasted whatever five, six bucks on stupid app, this exact same damn Still thing. <laughs> I'm just like, just hell with this game. <laughs> you know, that, that's fair enough. I'm surprised you played it four times. Because most of the time, I had a friend, he, uh, he used to game with me a lot, and he's like, Seth, I feel like you need to play games three times before you actually, and I'm like, see, I disagree, twice. Twice I think you can, you can come up with a solid review of it, um, but then again, it's like, the reason why I say that is because the first time, you should know what you like. If you're playing a game, it's, you can't sit down and not like it and be like, need to play it again. Right. The only time I see you can do that is if you go into a game with a certain mindset, and you're like, I'm not gonna like this, and you don't, shocker, <laughs> you expect. It's like, go in with an open mind, and if you don't like it, then you know you don't like it. But yeah, four times, wow. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was horrible. Just, it was my nom. I'm surprised, what was, <laughs> what was your mindset the fourth time going in? Maybe this is the fourth time's the job. Well, I tried different, I tried different factions. Okay. Races, I guess, each time. Just to see if maybe it was just something still nothing. a little different, and I just did it ever get better? No, no. <laughs> well, and the bad thing here's the here's the scary thing. I won three of the four times. You're kidding. And I still hated it. Wow. And I'm just I just I I can't know. The group yeah. teases me about it all the time. That's so funny. Because they're like, I, you hate this game, but you win all the time. I'm like, 
It's like some of my fault the other players suck. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't have fun at all. All right. Fair <clears> enough. <throat> that was number nine? Yep. All right. Number eight. I'm doing eight. You're doing eight. All right. Eight is a game that I still like. Like, what? <laughs> well, it's, not, like, it, it, it's weird. This is this is a weird one. That's why it's up that high. Remember I told you? Mine's oh, yeah. Run. Yeah. I like the game. I don't like how long it takes, and that, that that's what kills it for me. Okay. <clears throat> it's nice. Firefly. Never played it, but okay. Um, I love the Firefly. How many games for yours I am gonna? <laughs> I, I love the Firefly universe, and I wanted to love that game so much. I mean, it's, and then we sat down to play a four-player game of it, and it took three hours, and I'm just like, oh, you know, and, and I owned it at one point, and so we played it a few times, and then we played it with the expansions, and it made it even longer. So you and, don't like long games? Well, it's not. It's not. My family doesn't like long games. Okay. I, so my family would never play Firefly with me anyway, but okay. just when I'm playing with other people, I don't have like super long periods of time to play. Mm -hmm. So like Fair I, I want to play. I'd rather play three games in a game night in a game than one long game, game the whole time. It's not that I dislike long games, yeah. but but I just wanted Firefly to be an hour and a half game. You go out, do your stuff, mm -hmm. and you're done. You know, and that I, I and I like the legendary encounters Firefly. Okay. Um, just because it's it's faster, mm -hmm. and you're actually you actually play each episode of the series. Really. Like like the first the hmm. first game you play is actually running the like events the, of episode one. Okay. And then you, so it's like playing thirteen or thirteen so, episodes of the. the other now, okay, so that's one. interesting that you, that you say you like that because <coughs> at that point, wouldn't you just rather just go watch the show if you're doing all the events? Well, it, it's it, like it, well, it comes up weird. I okay, mean, it's, I mean, like, it's it's not. It's, it's a, it's just that each, it's just each episode is the film theme reel. Do something oh, different. Okay. You know, I mean, it's um, the art is just so literally up. actually you're playing. You have to play the episode behind right, right. you and you like follow it. But anyway, so, that's that's why I don't like Firefly. And I know we have uh, Robert. He's, he's a huge, huge fan. Of he's it. a big huge fan. Yeah. Even you know the big box. I like how you yeah. Know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Firefly face. <laughs> but but uh, that took a long time to do because he kept moving like, yeah. and I'm like, dang it. <laughs> and I don't edit like that well, so. Um, that's funny. And it's one of my friend's favorite game, and whenever I get to get together with him every few months, that's what we play, but yeah. it's just so long. It's one of those things that's funny. You and I have the complete opposite. It's because, like, you have your family who will play two or three games in a row. Now, my girlfriend, Kat, she will, but she's not going to. I mean, she'll have fun, but she's not going to. She won't avidly be like, mm -hmm. oh, let's play another one. That's why I like coming to game night because right. we will do that. Like it's right. like, what are we gonna play next? And I'm like, yay, not just one. So I love long games because while well, my friends and stuff don't have a problem playing long games, mm -hmm. they have, for some reason have a problem playing another game after. And I think it's because they have to learn the game, right. so it's become it mentally drains them. Be like, here's a new game that I know how to play, but now I have to teach you. So exactly. they're learning three or four games right, right. in a row, so they're like drained. That's interesting. Well, I'll tell you what I do with my family. As you can use this as well as a little trick eventually. Is, um, well, what I do not. is I have so many games in there that I make a list on my phone of 20 games. Okay. I let them guys pick. We split it up. Each person gets to pick five. Okay. And then that's our family gaming list or whatever we call it. And then we'll roll on D20. And when it lands on, that's the game we play. Oh, okay. And then when whoever wins that game gets to roll the D20 the next time, we play that game. You know, and if, it's a, cool. and if it's a game that I don't know the rules to yet, mm -hmm. then I, you know, we'll roll a die. That'll be it, and then I can learn it before we play the next okay. game. You know, and then once we get through those twenty games, then we pick a new twenty. You know, and it's, that's that's, that's, a that's idea. what we because it's a way that yeah. everybody can get, has a possibility of everybody getting a game that they that they kind of want to play in. or they're all interested. Right, in. right. That's a good and idea. I, and I won't pick any <clears> of the ones that I know that they're gonna get <laughs> just because you know. <laughs> okay, so I have a theory. Um, I, I kind I want you in because I, I for my channel I do uh, top ten in, or uh, not top ten uh, interesting topics mm -hmm. basically a, it's almost like a vlog right almost and I've and I thought of one that does uh, your mentality affect your gaming experience and uh, so I we played the others yesterday mm -hmm. my girlfriend doesn't like uh, strategy she doesn't like competition um, so we played the others and I don't know if you've played it. It's Once. meant to feel like the heroes are gonna lose, mm -hmm. and that's absolutely true. So whenever I was setting it up, because I, I got it from John, I have the Kickstarter version, so I was like, I really want to play this, just to make sure that if I like it. So whenever I'm setting it up, I'm like, babe, this game is meant to make you feel like everything is against you. Mm -hmm. And when we, we when we were in it, she was like, I hate this game. Well, by the end of it, she actually ended up liking it. But she was like, I'm really glad you told me that because otherwise I would be. I when we talked about that last 
the last top ten. Did we? You know, Mentality? we brought well, we brought it up about you know like telling people going into it, like you said, with you brought up the example of talisman. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this is a roll and move game. Yeah, this is random. Random, yeah. Yep. So it was one of those. I mean, I think if you just give them the, the give them the heads up, right? they don't go in expecting it. Yep, yep. Okay, so that was your eight. Yes. My number eight is a, is one of the very first games that I had. Also, funny enough, what did Shut Up and Sit Down do? <laughs> this is also, I don't think it was raved. No, it was. It actually wasn't raved by them. They didn't like it. Um, but, and I guess neither did I. Winter Tales. You know anything about that game? I know what it's about. I've never played it. So Winter Tales is a game. Basically, if Tim Burton made a fairy tale mm -hmm. board game. Um, now the theme I really liked. I liked the idea of that you know dark gothic right. you know fairy tale. There was uh, like Snow White and uh, Pinocchio and the werewolf and all those uh, like um, um, oh what was that uh, uh, yeah fuck um, I can't think of it right now. <laughs> Telltale uh, Wolf Among Us yeah, yeah, with yeah. all those fair, uh, fairy tale creatures right, right. they all live together. Um, this one was kind of those. Build your own, make your own story mm -hmm. as you go along. Uh, I have come to find out that it's not a good game mechanic for me because it's kind of like I have to DM and I'm not a good DM. Right. So it's like I need some structure, which that game had none of. So we were sitting there like playing, like playing this game. It was just my girlfriend and I, and so we were telling a story. And I mean, she was actually pretty good at it, but the problem is, is you're, you have to like try not meta game. So whenever I was saying, oh, you know, I'm gonna crawl in this window of this building and wait because I saw, you know, the crooked man or whatever coming down, I'm um, hiding away from him. She was like, oh, well, he's gonna. He, she thematically made it seem like he stopped, and I'm like, I don't think you can do that right. because you know I'm there waiting for you because mm -hmm. in the game you can ambush people, and I'm like, well, now you're. Avidly, you're meta gaming, so you don't go out and ambush people, or you don't get ambushed. And there was just a lot of that. everything was loosely based, and I was like, did I win? Because it was like the forces of springtime was trying to end winter, and the right, winter right. factor was trying to not end winter. And at the time, you have these story cards, which are very vague, and you can use them as whatever you see in them, kind of like those uh, ro those uh, ink block, the Roy Shock ink block, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they were drawn by like a six-year-old and a nine-year-old, which at the time was really cool, but the storytelling was just kind of how Shut Up and Sit Down said, was just like, I hit you with this book, and then I shoot you with the, and it's just like, all right, and then someone has their cards, and they're like, Apple. Right. So I win, and it's like, just no structure at all. The only thing that it had going for it was the theme, and they could have made a really cool faction game mm -hmm. with that theme, and they decided to go storytelling, which I guess kind of makes sense. But well, I won't argue with that. It sounds like it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right, you're number eight. <laughs> I did my eight, so I oh, did you? So I do seven. Oh wow, man, we're already on seven. Yep. My number seven is a game that I've never heard anyone say anything bad about. And I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this. Right. Shadows over Camelot. That game. The only thing that game has going for it is that it, it quotes Monty Python. Yeah, it was back to twelve. Oh really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. That's that's it. Like, and you can only quote Monty Python so much before you're fucking annoyed mm -hmm. with people saying the. How can a five? Hour? Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. I hate the movie now. I don't. The movie's still great. Right. But it's like, you know, those people that like, they're not naturally funny. But they say one thing that actually makes you laugh, so they say the same Jake, Jake yes. <laughs> joke over and over, and you're like, well, I hate you now, and I hate your <laughs> joke. <laughs> that's how this game was. It's like, ha, they, oh yeah, Monty Python, that's really cool. And then you look at the game, and you're like, I'm going to fight this dragon. Blush. Yeah. Suck it. <laughs> you, I win. <laughs> you just said the biggest thing about that game I hate is the stupid so, cards like so that. So stupid. I, I, you know. I wanted to like it. You're the knights of the round table. <laughs> one of you could be a traitor. Right. Like it was the first hidden movement, and and at the end my discussion still stays the same because I did a run through for this a long time ago. My my whole thing has changed now, but it was like, oh yeah, no, that's so cool um, that there's someone someone's a traitor in in the the Knights of the Round Table. Who could it be, or someone could not be a traitor? And it's like, well, there's a deck of bad cards that everyone before they can do their actions has to draw, and and something bad happens. It's like, there's no point in you being a traitor because the traitor doesn't have to do anything 
to mask their right. like Battle Five or Battle Five Armies, uh, Battlestar Galactica. You have to work avidly to not be called out as a Cylon. Right. Uh, Dead of Winter. You have to make it seem like you're really helping the colony. Those are good traitorous games. This one is just like, yeah, it's not me. But draw a bad card. It's not me. Draw a bad card. Right. That's it. And there's nothing. I'm gonna go find the Holy Grail. I thank God I got this Grail card. I'm gonna go get the the, the, uh, the Black Knight. I've got a ten, and he got a four. Yay! Well, and it's like, and also not just the card thing that makes that anything with the hidden roll. And my other group, we had this guy that used to come all the time. that was the worst player. Like, <laughs> if if he got like a murder uh, deception, mm -hmm. if he was the murderer, you knew it. Really? If he was the, you know, if he was the Cylon and built up Battlestar, you knew just, it. Did, did he just, just like, ruined he it. just had a terrible tell? Yeah, he just couldn't keep a smile off his face. Oh, man. He just like... <laughs> <laughs> just like we didn't think it was you, now we do. <laughs> just like, you know, that game got ruined so many times. Oh, because, man. Because of that guy. See, and yeah. I've done that. I've been known to do that, but only in, like, the Resistance, because, like, I'm always a traitor in the Resistance, right. so, and the game goes by so quick. Like you play like five times, so whenever I'm the traitor the fifth time, you it's you can't you cannot go. Exactly. <laughs> and everyone's like, "Are you the traitor?" Yes. It's like I can't keep doing this. It's like someone else. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so Shadows Over came a lot. Dice Tower raves over it. Yeah, I know. It prays it for its great traitorous mechanism, and I'm like, you know, maybe in the '40s when it was made. Yeah. Like I don't know when it came out, but like, it's like <laughs> it's just, I hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. it would, I would play it um, again if someone had it out, yeah. but theme is just out the way. Actually, theme's there as the Knights of the Round well, And I never even tried it with the Merlins. I did. Yeah, okay, so what Merlin does is nothing except <laughs> if he's there with you, you get an extra white card. I think it's been a while, but I know he didn't really do much, and it added travel cards. So going from one place to the other, you drew a travel card, and one of them could be like, you're captured, so now you're not even playing the game, and where you're sitting there, and no one's trying, people can release you, mm -hmm. but they're not going to, because you could possibly be the traitor, so you're like, this is fun, guys, actually, it's my house and my game, so get out. <laughs> I want to play. Yeah. It was dumb. It's so dumb. That's my number seven, good one. Shadows Over Camelot. We're agreeing more on this list. We Something's really are. <laughs> except, for, except for Mice and Mystics, I guess. Well, that one, I could see why. It's, yeah. you're, it, you're, like, you said it was a good game, you just got to still yeah. like the theme. All right, my seven. Yep. Probably haven't played this one. <laughs> I probably haven't played any of it's, it's Warhammer Disc Wars. No, but I have seen it played. Okay, now, if you know, I don't that's know the if one you know where you flip them, that's yeah. how you combat. I am a completionist, right? And I've had people try to get me into actual Warhammer with the, with with the, the minis. minis and all that stuff, and I would just, I would be broke yep. right now. Yeah, that's why. Um, so, I I, so then the idea came out oh, Fantasy Flight Games going to put out the Warhammer cheap with little discs and then they're going to you know and it's just a minute fraction of the cost and then they're going to put out other races you know and I was like this is perfect right you know? well two reasons that I don't like this game now is there's zero support nobody plays it around here so you know that's one thing that is true and the other thing is it just it's not the same. I, I no, want the minis, no. which, which I know that's stupid. I, I bought it because I didn't want to have to spend the money on the minis, but then when you're sitting there flipping the disc, I'm like, that could uh, be a it, mini. Does, it, it needs to be sense. a mini. It does. <laughs> it does. Okay, so so real real quick, because I feel like we've divulged in the, in the reason why we don't like this game. Uh, so we're going to go back a little bit. I wanted to like Shadows Over Camelot because of its theme. Right. Because of the... Now I just, just a quick mention. Because I love that lore, mm -hmm. like, you know, the King Arthur, right. you know, Sword in the Stone is actually my favorite Disney movie, yeah. and I really thought it was going to be cool, but the poker game right. of it, everything is based off poker, that just threw it out the window, and the traitor game was anything. Be traitor. It really could have been anything. Yeah. So, I just feel, I don't think I mentioned that, but anyway, no, anyway so that, Disc Wars. That, that's it, it's just, it was you know, I game. bought it because it was cheap, and I didn't have to spend all the money, but then I wanted the minis when you're playing it, because it's just what sad. happened. <laughs> when you're flipping little discs and see that's what killed it for me because I was I mean I, I saw it and I was like why do you flip them like at least it's, I mean it's not a dexterity game like no, right? it's, it's, it's not yeah movement. you literally just it's flip them and that's like they do two movements yeah. flip it twice it's not like uh, what's the what's the one where you actually flip the disc and you well, flip them uh, there's a bunch of them there's pitch car where you do that but there's yeah, another one where you start to see yeah caverns or 
I can't think of it yeah. right well, now. But yeah, that's how you like okay, attack. Okay, catacombs. Yeah, that was yeah, well, actually that. Catacombs is attacking with discs. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, yeah. that's stupid. <laughs> but maybe yeah. I just don't like dexterity games. Yeah. But yeah, I stayed that. away from that one. One, I stayed away from that because I don't like the Warhammer universe because yeah. I don't know anything about it. Same reason why I actually, I only keep Relic around because actually Chaos in the Old World actually helped my knowledge mm -hmm. for the, you know, the gods. Mm -hmm. So it helped with Relic because they're right. implemented in that game. Right. But that, that theme I just can't get into. And Fletcher is like, he's like, those are the most boring books to read in the world. Right. All right, so that was your number six? Seven. Seven. Now I'm getting ready to do six. Number six, all right. You may have played this one. <laughs> I love zombies. Oh, is that the is, game? No, that's, oh. that's my, I love zombie <laughs> lore. I was like, that like sounds off. <laughs> Talk about how much you zombies. And the game is City of Horror. Have okay. you ever played that? I have it. I, that is the longest game I have had in my collection. It's still unopened. Now, it, well, it, it's, you're not going to get hardly anything out of it if you try to sell it. I well, mean, no, I, I, I want to play it. You need to play it, and I'll, I'll play it with you. I'll okay. gladly play it. But that game, I, I, I literally, there's a guy that would, would not come back to game group. Really? After playing it. And, not, and that isn't the reason I don't like the game. It's just... Is it kind of one of those... Have you ever heard of lifeboats? Yeah. Okay, is it kind of like it's, that it's where you can, you can easily tell <laughs> someone's about to win so everyone just collectively gangs up and throws them Well, and there is no... You just have to survive a certain length of time in this game. Yeah. And, there, and the mini... And it's all standees. And, That's fine. Uh, and, there's, and, it's, and it's really neat looking. You look at the boards. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's got 3D, 3D, the, it's the, the 3D, watch tower, 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 whatever. All that stuff. I mean, it's really cool looking. And then pretty much what it dials down to is you're in this house getting supplies. Zombies are out here. Okay, who we're gonna throw out? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> why I got just, it. Right, and it's just like, and it's just. It I guess that doesn't down. really make sense a whole lot if you really think about it, because it's like why why would you throw anyone out? Right, but you have to. Why? We're all, but I, what it was it came down to like resources, right? Yeah, it and, and, and up, each so. character had different. Um, like one of them would, the old lady I think would. To do something. There was, there was an old lady that was like, or, or, or a screaming or a, a girl that was a screamer, so she would draw them closer. Oh, you're talking about the zombies. Yeah, yeah, so You're yeah. talking about someone that no, controlled no, 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 an old no, no, lady. But it's, uh, you're almost about to die anyway. I, there, it's, it's probably my least favorite zombie game that I've played. Other than... Oh, no, you ever played Last Night on Earth? Uh, I have once. Okay. And it wasn't bad. I mean, this, this, really this likes it, but... Last Night on Earth is better than this, in my opinion. Okay. Because, you, because you're... That's more co op -y. That's true. You know, this one's, there's no co op No, this. no. You, you have to work together, I guess, to try to, because you need other people. You can't just go off by yourself because right, you, need to, you need to stay with other people so you can try to yeah. shut them out the door. See, I, I got it for that exact reason. It's so funny. I've looked at that game multiple times, and a lot of my games, well, yes, I can always get people to play uh, games with me. Um, I, one, I started this channel, got uh, more serious at the time, right. so I kept pushing it back. And then, Cat is actually my uh, like my tester, right. so like I'll break open games so we can play, right. and then that's how I learn the game. Well, I can't do that with that one. It's a minimum of three. Right. So I'm like, all right, right you gotta play play with max. Right. Whenever you play it, play with max. Because What's the max? Six. Five or six. Five or six. So it's yeah. like, yeah. Now that's actually hard for me to do is get six people. Right. Because that would be a good one to pull out on Friday. Like we right, through. right, but <laughs> because none of them are going to get too butt hurt. Oh, uh, that's not true. We played Cutthroat Caverns. Oh, really? On who, Friday, who got mad at that? Robert. Really? He. he okay, so what happened? <laughs> Robert, I love you. Watch this. Uh, this. I mean, I completely understand. Like, I, I totally get it. The game, but the game is called Cutthroat. It's kind of like if you. I played, I played it. Oh, have you? Yeah, okay. I, I well, I know. I was just saying this. I, yeah, like, yeah. what you mentioned. Hey, it's called unfair. So yeah, yeah you should have yeah. like, go in. It was just a bad situation. So what happened, you start with 100 hit points and everything, yeah. that's like 20 or something. <laughs> he got, we, we fought a Hydra, that was the first thing we had to fight. And if you attacked one but didn't kill it, it would attack you back. Well, so, it would attack the last person who hit it. Well, so Robert goes first, he attacks it. We all play cards that set up our next turn, or did zero damage, mm -hmm. or didn't, and so it didn't count as, as an attack. Well. <laughs> Essentially, so none of us attack. He gets hit. Then he tries to do stuff cards that, uh, then like, uh, Kevin played a card that canceled his card, which dealt then dealt like ten damage to him. And then John did it to him again. So everyone just wiped him out. He <laughs> five minutes into the game, he was out, and he's like, "I'm going home." Yeah. And we're like, "Really?" <laughs> it was just 
No, I, it, it happened to me too on a game of, of that where it's, everybody just picked on me for some I don't know why. I was out and then you're sitting there forever. Yeah, I don't know. Player what, elimination is. Yeah, horrible. it was one of those things that like, like I don't think anyone intentionally meant right. to like go after him in particular. Um, John actually ended up winning that game, but, uh, but yeah. So like, City of Horror is like you have to go in knowing it's a negotiation game. Yeah. Like, but yeah, it's on the it's on it's on my show. I I, I wouldn't mind playing it again just to see if I can piss off. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be me. It's gonna be for me. Just to see my reaction. Yes. All right. So that was your number six. Yep. So my number six is a game that actually. Uh, there's no way it's on it's on your list. I, I guarantee you didn't even come across your mind. Uh, is a game that I really love, Lord of the Rings, um, and I love all the movies. I've read two of the books, uh, Fellowship and Two Towers. I haven't read Cimmerillion because I'm probably never going to. Uh, but I hate the Hobbit movies, and so it's Battle of Five Armies. I, have, uh, I, I that's the only one I have played. Uh, I didn't. War of the Ring is vastly superior, and I don't know who, like, I don't know how people can compare these two. Like, I think they're, they're like, oh, it's Shadow People versus Free People. They're the same game. They're vastly different. One, War of the, War of the Ring is way better because it focuses on War of the Rings instead of, you know, The Hobbit. Um, and two, it's actually balanced. Like, I felt that I played Battle of Five Armies three times, and uh, against friends who are good board game players, and they played the free people, and they didn't even come close. Yeah. Like, not even, not even once. Not, there was never a time where I was like, Ugh. it was always like, okay, well, I'm going to bring all these shadow people because they started at the top. I'm going to swing them around. I'm obviously going to take this closest one that you have one guy in that you can't defend. So now I have a stronghold, which is like two points or whatever. Oh, and then, yeah. It was just everything. I, there was nothing they could do. Like, absolutely nothing. I guess thematically that makes sense, but... Like theme doesn't make good game mechanics. Good game mechanics doesn't make theme. Like they have to go. They have to go hand in hand. Right. Just because yes, in the books and at some point the shitty awful trilogy, uh, the five army or the the free people were supposed to feel like they were outnumbered and losing, but they rally and come back. Not the case. Like the shadow people just come in and they're like, who are these guys? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're you're all dead. Didn't make sense. Thorin had some really good ability, but he had to stay in the stupid tower. If he left, no, 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 it was a stronghold. If he left, he couldn't go back and reinforce it. It basically broke the wall, so it was just like, I can walk in and take it. So dumb. And I really, really wanted to like it because Dice Tower is like, it's so much shorter, combat's more better. Streamlined it's more streamlined. More streamlined. No, yeah. no. I can see why they would say War of the Ring can be bogged down because of the political track, but I'm like, that is grounded in theme because not everyone wants to go to war. So you have to rally them with, mm -hmm. hey, Legolas has to go to the elves and be like, hey, we need to fight and, bat and fight. It's like, that makes sense. Not, now it's not the most fun thing to do because you just want to get everyone in. I guess if you just want to play a watered-down version of War of the Ring, play Battle of Five Armies. Right. If you just want to get straight into the fighting, then by all means, it's better. But it's also, don't play as the free people. Fight the person that, who is making you play the game. And be <laughs> and like, I got my fight in, and then you're good. So that's my number six, Battle of Five Armies. I, yeah, I really didn't, don't like it. Number six? Right. No, you didn't number six. My number five, God, I am just... Two people. Right. Yeah, I do. All right, so my number five <laughs> uh, is a third edition of a game that I really like the second edition of, and that's Runebound third edition. Any of those. Okay, so Runebound second edition is great. That is your fantasy game where... Uh, it's okay. So, second edition was really cool because of the leveling system and, and the movement. You had these terrain dice that you would roll, and you, they'd, they'd have pictures. And so it's like, oh, okay. So I want to get from here to this quest token here to do a quest from this deck. I want to do that. Well, uh, in, you would have to roll and get. Okay, I got you know planes, planes. Oh, I got my mountain, so I can get there. And that was just a really cool way to traverse the the board. And the third edition did that as well. But second edition had player interaction right. to where if you happen to go to these cities and get all the, and get these goods, I can actually now go avidly go out of my way to fight you and steal items from you, and and then now I'm better to go level up and then hopefully find find the boss and kill the boss because it's a race pretty much to find the boss and mm -hmm. kill the boss. Third edition 
basically did away with all of that, and just it came down to a semi co op luck fest in the, in the sense where, okay, I happen to roll better in terrain, so I got to the city first to get the best item that you because you can see all the items at the different cities. Oh, that's clearly the best one. Oh, lucky me, I start there, or I start a space away from there, so I'm gonna go get that. Oh, and you can't get that from me. Um, so, because you can't, you can't interact with the other players, so you might as well just play the game by yourself. Right. And then, uh, there's, uh, the base game came with two bosses. One was like a necromancer and the other one was the dragon. And so, what it came down to was there was like two acts. One act was this marker went down, and the second act the boss came out and they did whatever they had to do. The dragon has to get to a city, and then both players lose. So it's either one player wins, or both players lose. Mm -hmm. So it's co semi-cooperative, but you can't help each other, right. and you can't hinder each other to try and get the edge over your opponent. So it's not like if you're, oh shit, you're really strong, I'm gonna, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and hinder you, I'm gonna try and fight you to take your weapon away. You can't do that, so it's like if you're behind, you're behind. And then they have the quest tokens, um, like all, uh, like they're different colors, which correspond to a separate deck. Well, in the second edition, those corresponded to monsters, quests, and, and other things. This one, it was just orange was orange deck, and there were monsters in there, there were quests, you didn't know what you were going to get. And at way early levels, you're going to lose, like, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you like you just can't fight them. And do you know how combat's done? Initially, I thought it was going to be really cool, because I'm like, that's innovative. Well, stop being innovative, <laughs> because it's the it's these chits or these these tokens. Mm -hmm. So imagine Disc Wars and you fought by dropping the I've seen, yeah, so I, saw, I think I watched that. So stupid. Of it. It, was, it was just like and you're like, wow, I'm glad they're the same because they don't move in your hand and I guess well someone's be like, well, just flip them like a coin. Yep, I'm rolling ten. Hold on. <laughs> Is this fun for you? Yeah. It was so dumb. I wanted to like it because I really like second edition. I got rid of it and I don't know why I did because I, I did really like it. But third edition, I guess it's just maybe it's it's gateway-ish and it's, did, it didn't, is. Did didn't have the third edition on his greatest games of all time. Who did? Didn't. Chad? Yes, that's the only one I think the third is the one. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if he had played Because I asked him if he played second edition he said no and I'm like, <coughs> yeah, <coughs> you need to play second edition because there's no way if you played second that you're going to like third. I mean, I, at least in my, right, in my opinion. Right. So that's why I really wanted to like it, but didn't, because it's stupid. <laughs> Alright, my so five? Your five. My five is a game that I thought was going to be really cool. The designer is Mike Elliott. Uh, the Thunderstone. Oh, okay. A lot of stuff. I love Thunderstone. Uh, I don't like those games, so. Yeah. Um, you don't like deck builders. Nope. Right? <laughs> Well, so I was like, okay, this this can't go wrong, you know. <laughs> it's called Lost Legends. I'm have to look that one up. Yeah, um, you can get it really cheap now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is just so god awful. I don't know. I mean, it had potential, um, but it's just it's. it's I've seen it's, the it's, cover. It's practically freaking impossible to do anything. I mean, you, so you get are so you brutalized. a group fighting toothless from How to Train Your Dragon? <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like <laughs> from Queen Games. Yeah, it's yeah. Queen Games. Yeah, um, it is. Uh, you, you had your hero, and there's just a handful of different bad guys, and you go through, and, it's, and you're getting your loot. I mean, it's it's the typical. It's the same kind of stuff. Like, I mean, you can kind of compare it to Thunderstone, only a different kind of a kind of a game. But it's just it's I so brutal. Friend. It's so it just didn't work. I had a friend who was really into Thunderstone, and I think he said that the whole game ended up built up to nothing. Like, by the time you get to the final boss, you just obliterate him. Probably. Maybe that was in the Thunderstone Advance. I've never played it, but that, he kept bringing that up, and I'm like... It, it could, I mean, yeah. I think I think the fun, of that, the fun of that game with, with Thunderstone is, is the build up. I mean, that's the fun part. Just right. Just going through and doing the stuff. Right. You know, but but this game was one, you know, it had, it had the... Because you had a nice little player board and all this stuff, and I was like, "This could be awesome," and then it just sucked, <laughs> just incredibly. But why? Why did it suck? It's probably Mike Elliott's worst game, in my opinion, as far as because he's done Thunderstone and he did, uh, God, he's done a bunch of games. I can't remember anymore right off the top of my head, but I remember when I was looking at stuff that he did. That's that's by far. 
I mean, it's it was just a combination of stuff. You know, it didn't. It was so, it was too brutal. Okay. Um, it didn't. You it just it, it wasn't. You it lost. wasn't. Well, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it, it wasn't. You know how it, most of the games you like, there's there's a. No, uh, it's a, a co-op. Uh, so okay. Kind of. Not not really. It's probably more non than it is. But okay. You still have to kind of work like it. Okay. But it is. Um, games that you like generally have a cohesiveness or smoothness, you know, right. you know, kind of, and this had none of that. Okay. It was clunky as hell. Okay. And, yeah, those, and, those are pretty bad because, like, my mindset <laughs> is, like, all pretty much all logic. Right. So, I mean, yeah, obviously, if it, you still have to make the connection of, okay, this is thematic, but it doesn't work, or, but in most cases for me, it's, I'm really mad right now during the game, but after the game, I'm like, that really is thematic, and, I, and then I'll enjoy mm -hmm. how it played out, but... Most of the time, there's going to be a game on here, not mentioning any spoilers, where it's like, theme? Logic? Let's throw all that out the window. So I'm assuming that's the case with this, where it's just yeah, like, it just what? Work. Just took yeah. all these things and threw them into a game, and it, that's why it's called Lost Legends, because right. we were lost and that's why time, and the game became a legend. And that's, that's why you can get it for like 10 bucks an hour. <laughs> <laughs> get it for free, <laughs> people giving it away. <laughs> all right. So that was your number... So Go into mine four now? Yep, start four. Okay. All right. I love deck building games. That's where we differ. Deck Boo! Building, deck building games are something that I can get my family into. They love them. They like that. They, they know that. No. If I, if I tell my family, this is a deck building game, they're like, okay, they're we're like, allowed to do that. Yay, you buy it, it goes in the deck, discard pile, get a hand. You, you know, I mean, that's, they love that. That makes no sense. <laughs> I know, I know. And, and well, and th that's exactly why this game's on here. Okay. It's because I love the theme of this game, but it does not, does not work with this. And it's the Resident Evil deck building game. That okay. So that <laughs> sounds like it's trash already. Well, because not not because it's Resident Evil. Right, I don't right. want people to be like, yeah, oh, really? Right, right. No, Resident Evil is a great <coughs> game series. The movies are garbage. Is it is it based off the game or the <laughs> the video game? It's okay. got video game. It's video game art. Okay. So it's really sweet. So I mean, it's, it's it's I I would I almost kept the game just because of the because I had foil man. cards. It was it, it was really neat and all this stuff. But then you lay it out. And you're buying items and ammunition and weapons to shoot bad guys, and you're spending cards to kill bad guys mm -hmm. and stuff. And it just, it just does not work. Really? I, I, and it's and the company that put it out is is. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's, it's no it's, longer it's, a game. It's, or Ban, Bandai. It's, I think it's the company that Bond. put out the game. Is the game that is the company that Bandai Namco? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. They, they put out the video, the board game. Really? And 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 this is another reason I don't like it is the quality. Yeah, the the cards out of box were like all wavy. Oh man! And when you're playing a deck builder and you're you set up your steel and it's like there's gaps between the cards when you have the deck. Oh Because God. they're so wavy. I don't mean, you just, sleeve your cards? I do, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I mean, they, these were like, I mean, like they were so thin, like the card. I mean, you could just tell that it was a company that had made that has never made a board, board game. game but right. they're like, hey, let's make more um, money off. But off I love board. Resident Evil, so I. I, I was like, this well, can't go wrong. I love deck builders. I love Resident Evil, and then, and it just sucked. Man, that that had to hurt. <laughs> because, well, I mean, honestly, I've played three Resident Evils. I played the first one. I have played four, which is by far the best Four's one. Awesome. So good. And yeah. seven. The I new one. The bio, it's yeah, good. That's the only one I haven't played. I've played all it's, of them. It's good. Um, and I think it's a step in the right direction because all the other ones before that, it's like, yeah. what are you guys no, doing? Four is by far though. Yeah. It's still the best. Yeah, it's so good. But it's just like, it's one of those things, like whenever a, a, a game has a movie adaptation, mm -hmm. it's like, what are you doing? Right. And that, 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 it never works. Well, it never works. Um, I'm not going to lose any cred here, am I, if I say that I, I like some of those movies? Resident Evil? Yeah. Dude, they're, I mean, the third I guess, one, I guess the third one, Extinction. Okay. So if you're going in, in stuff, that's awesome. completely shit phase. <laughs> Were you on like your medication whenever you're your, <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> and then you came to your senses. Well, the first Dude, one and the second one sucked. I'll agree with you there. And then the every first one turned into, they just went all balls of wall action where she had, that's where she had the whole power where she caught all the crows on fire and all that crap. And so stupid. Then the fourth one is stupid. It's not cohesive in any way. No, no, it's not. Explain. It's I guess not. you're going in, it's just like, popcorn. just like, you just yeah. want to yeah. just binge. That's why, like, everyone liked Battle of Los Angeles. And, like, it's so deep. I'm like, no, it is not. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 if I, it's mindset. If I went into, like, an action movie, like, oh, yeah, no, I didn't expect anything from this. I just wanted uh, people to, like, I love uh, kung fu movies. Right. They're never deep, intricate plots, but I love martial arts, so I'm like, man, this is so cool. Oh, I 
Yeah. No, but whatever. They they may hate you. Right. So they're just gonna. So anyway, shoot. Resident Evil game. Avoid it. Play the video game, not the card game. I didn't even know that. We can get it really cheap now. <laughs> you like hate you deck builders. It. You think I'm gonna go, <laughs> go out of my way to play this one? So my number four uh, is a, is technically my first game ever, but thank God I huh. Okay, sorry, my first gamer's game ever. Uh, I said my first game ever. I can't even. It was my first gamer's game ever, and I'm glad it didn't kill the hobby for me. Uh, it all intents and purposes, it really should have. Um, but Talisman came out right after that. So it was pretty much like I got this game, and then I got Talisman right after, and I saved it, and then I, now I'm here with, uh, as an addict. Hi, I'm Seth. I'm a board game addict. Uh, it's Descent, second edition. So obviously, no one ever says anything bad about this game. Um, I huh? I will. Yay! <laughs> um, except it's the fact that uh, this game is so unbalanced, and I mean, I've heard the app fixes it. This is the game without the app, and I want to play it without the app. Uh, I've tried. You want to play it with the app? Sorry, but yeah, I want to play it without the app. It's so good. I want to play it with the app because it takes away someone being the overlord and makes it co op for everyone, uh, and that's just something you needed because. Well, it did something inherently cool where, you know, whoever won the first act, it helped them in the second act, and then whoever won more got to choose kind of how the campaign went. That inherently was cool. Except, the heroes never fucking win. They never win. And it's like, it, and I think it, Imperial Assault fixed it. Mm -hmm. With hero, Imperial, here, it went back and forth. Right. Descent was all heroes go, and then the Overlord, with his massive hand of 50 cards, right. does... Oh, yeah, they're going to go, they're going to attack twice, they're going to move twice. Oh, and I know how to win, so they're just going to double move, grab whatever they need to grab, and book it. They're going to run in there, and stupidest action ever. You get two actions, I think, and one of them is moving, and the other one is opening a door. So if you're running in, oh, I need to save the villagers in this house, I'm going to run and leave the door open because I can't do it. Why? Like, it, oh my god, I hated that. And here's the funny thing, I never play the heroes. I'm always the overlord. So even if I'm hating on this game and I always win because the game allows me to, it's like, it's so stupid. And we were gonna we were gonna do a series. I got I tried it again. I was like maybe I didn't like it because my same problems with it were the same problems I had the, the very first time I ever played a game like this. Right. And so obviously there has to be something wrong if I knew nothing about me mechanisms and how these games work. And I'm like this feels a little unfair. I think I'm playing it right. And uh, so we tried doing a series again. And obviously I try not to do series uh, and not finish them. I had to do that with Near and Far because at that point it was the same thing. Right. But so we, I recorded, my rule is now with the series, we're going to do three games. If we don't like it by three games, we're not going to upload it. So we got to the third game and one of my friends was like, I want to like this game, but I don't. And my other friend was like, you shouldn't have to want to like it. You should right. like it. Right. Well, doesn't the app, like somebody was saying, doesn't the app change, change the turn order to where it goes I back and think, forth? I think they I think realize their mistake. Yeah. It makes it co-op, so if so, it just, the app probably fixes everything, and I've heard, yeah. you know, and I, yeah, some guy was trying to sell me on it, and I'm like, dude, I'm not going to buy it again. Well, I'm like, never going to buy it as long as Imperial Assault's a thing, because that's once, once the app comes out for Imperial Assault, that'll oh, be, yeah, my, that'll be my Oh, man, I need game. to get all the expansions for <laughs> Imperial Assault. They're, they're, they're we, need to get, we need to go in together and just buy make a one massive collection. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually a good idea. That's not a bad idea. Because I have one. I, have, any of it. I have the Hoth expansion and the, and the base game, and there's three more out, and one just came out. So, yeah, we should probably go in on halves on that, and then I'll just have it forever. <laughs> you keep one expansion. You keep I it for me. Don't keep it for me. <laughs> Alternate, get alternating weekends. <laughs> so, that's my number four. To send second edition. Oh, and I wanted to like it because it was heavy fantasy and it's dungeon crawling, and that sounds super cool. You, your characters do level up and they get stronger, and you're like, oh, this guy is, bad, is badass. He has all these special abilities now. Doesn't matter. Whenever the Overlord gets the same thing, nope. he gets his special cards. See, it wouldn't be bad if the Overlord. I really think the balance kicks off, or excuse it, because the Overlord gets his power cards, mm -hmm. and while. The Imperial player gets those as well. They're not as strong, and the heroes get to react because, like, you the heroes don't get to react in descent because I use I go, I use all of them. So it's like if I just sweep and kill all your people, it's right. like man, I'm glad we can do something about that. And I mean, obviously, you can always throw in oh, and dice. Dice happen, so you can that can never be an actual reason to hate a game. Yeah. 
I mean, you could hate it while you're playing the game. Chad will say that. <laughs> no, there's no reason. Because <laughs> it, you, if you're going to hate a game for dice, then you don't need to be playing games because, right. I mean, I guarantee you, if, yeah, they can go complete, completely against you, and that's why you lose. Okay. It happens the other way, too. They can easily go your way and for the other player, and it's like, oh, I'm having so much fun. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to be pissed while I'm playing the game, because right. I very much will be. But after the game, I'll be like, man, those guys just... That game was awesome. Yeah. All right. Did you do your four? Yeah. So okay. Three. My number three is a game that's been on one of, on plenty of lists before, and it's Seven Wonders Duel. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> number three. <laughs> and here's the reason why. It's because this is where I kind of kicked up to how much I liked. I wanted to like it, but didn't. Mm -hmm. Seven Wonders is a fantastic game. I have nothing actually bad to say about Seven Wonders. Our friend Chad will say... He hates it because there's no military. That's the brilliant thing about that game. You can still do decent with military. No, 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 you can, yeah, but it's yeah. not, I don't, he, he doesn't like because you don't attack people. Right, right. And I love that. No, there's nothing more that I hate than spending two or three hours on a civ building game and someone comes in and is like, I'm a simple-minded barbarian. Destroy your shit. That was fun for me. Yeah. It's like, it will make sense thematically. That doesn't make it a good game. Right. And so, with Seven Wonders, you can't go military, but it's just going to give you a bunch of points right. if you have a stronger military. And the person that loses only they get one negative one, only negative yeah, one, negative points. Yeah, negative three, and then, yeah. Yeah, each, each age, yeah, it's, yeah. it's more and more. But still, it's um, not. So, all you really have to do is just not have the weakest military. Right. Um, or, play with, or play with the, uh, what, expansion? There's leaders in Babel. Cities. Cities, okay. The cities expansion has cards where... It, oh, you can you peace. It'll take you out. Yep. Yeah. So, Seven Wonders is fantastic. I absolutely love it, and uh, it's great. Seven Wonders Duel, this is where he's probably getting like... <laughs> uh, is none of that, except... And maybe it was just a bad experience, honestly. I, I have to try this again with the expansion. I didn't have to have the expansion. The expansion shouldn't fix the game. The game should be good in and of itself. And the problem I had with, this is why, and this can completely, you guys can say it's invalid all you want. When someone's strategy can be to actively make sure you're not playing the game by being like, oh, oh yeah, I can see you want that faith card. Money. Money. It's like, right. are, are you going to play? No. Money. Right. And it's like, well, I can't play because you won't <laughs> let me play. The thing, That's a strategy. Well, the thing is, is that they're trashing cards, though. They're, they're not, they don't know what's going to flip. That's true. So something else even better. That's true. Play. And in my, I played it three times. Right. Um, and uh, obviously it's two players. So I played with uh, Kat. Uh, she won once out of, out of two. And her problem with the game was how mili like military kind of didn't really make any sense. It was like this tug of war. Yeah. Yeah. It was, that was just kind of weird. I've actually won a few games in military. I have too, and I, that's how I won. It was just like yeah. I just kept advancing, and I got it there, and I guess I took you over. Um, I don't know. I guess I wasn't really a whole fan of the pyramid thing either, um, because it was just it was just kind of weird how you're only limited. There was no drafting, right. which I really love card drafting. So there was none of that where it's like, okay, if I take this, I'm giving you all these cards. There really there's none of that in duel. It's if I take this, somebody could flip over that, but it could easily not. Right. So in the case where she would just discard cards to get money, because she. Any game where I tell her, hey, you can get a lot of points for having a lot of money, mm -hmm. that's kind of an easy strategy for her to go for it, and it usually ends up panning out kind of mm -hmm. well. So that's what she was going for. She didn't do it to spite me. Right. She was just trying to get that. And every time something flipped over, it was nothing. I didn't like the science in that either. Yeah. Because you could never, it was so hard to get those tokens. Um, but you I, and John say the, the expansion takes I will tell it. you, if you play with the expansion, that game will not be on this list anymore. Okay. I and, guarantee and it. And like I said, I mean, I said I would play all these games except the first and two. I, and I, you know, I mean, sometime we can we play it because I have the, I don't know if you have the expansion. No. Okay. No, the expansion did, wasn't out whenever okay. I first okay. played it. Because so, I, I, I really think, I mean, because you're not, it puts those tokens out on those cards. Which makes them and more And those tokens right. make, a, make this, the gods cheaper, and those gods are so freaking powerful. Yeah. Then I mean it's it's like and and that sounds that sounds fantastic. Yeah. That sounds like it would immediately fix my problem. Yeah, um, and it's it's but, and that's what this actually out of everything, this is probably the biggest gap to like to dislike. Right. Because I love Seven Wonders. Actually, funny enough, I, how much are uh, it's never on my top ten. I think it's because I never 
get it to the table. Right. Um, but it, I have no complaints with Seven Wonders, so I was like, oh, a two-player game? That sounds fantastic. And then I'm like, it's well, not Seven well, Wonders. Well, I think, I think the thing is, is like you can play, because I think I've heard you say before that you've played the two-player Seven Wonders variant. Yes, actually. Right? So that has the drafting. Yes. So, so it's like, you either play and, with the drafting and the dummy player. Yep. Or you have the, the pyramid stuff. No, like I'm that. not saying the dummy player is, uh, you know, superior. In no, 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 no. But, but I think, I think when you throw the the Pantheon expansion, in, oh, okay, it's going to be so much. I mean, right, it, it, right. It, it turns it into a from a, a card, card, mm -hmm. card to. Oh my God! If I take this card, then I want to be able to do something. Yeah, like that. Oh, and I'm leaving that for right, him right. to take. Yeah, there's so much. The, yeah, there's so much. See, more and that, that's actually that. getting me excited. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> Not this <laughs> master. <dude. laughs> well, you know, this could be. This is a. Uh, that's you, where you've I seen, sit. You've seen, oh man. You've seen those those videos on on the adult websites. So you're not you're not trying to seduce me, are you? With no. Seven Wonders, no. Pantheon, Vader might though. <laughs> But that's 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 my number three, Seven Wonders Duel. All right, my number three, another zombie game. Wow. See, for me, I don't have any zombie games. Yeah. I think they're all overrated. Um, but anyway, keep going. I've spent way too much money on this game. Hold on, let me see if I can guess it. It's pretty obvious when you talk about all the money. Is it Last Night on Earth? No. No. All the money? All the money. I'm talking like every Kickstarter. I spent like about on three hundred dollars. Was on the side. <laughs> um, I went all. No, well, on this, this one or Black Plague? Well, that's one. That's okay. That's keep, sorry, plan. sorry. Keep going. I will say this is Zombie Side Season One, Season Two. Okay, so not, not Black, Black Plague. Plague. Okay, because I haven't played Black Plague yet. I haven't. But I know the rules changed for one. Some of the reasons that I hated the first. I one. bet. I bet. I know why you hate it. Well, it's the same reason I hate it. It's the whole. Uh, when you shoot to his That's so yeah, stupid. Yeah. Which I've house ruled that. I, I, we house ruled it. We yeah. changed it to where if there's people in there, That's you would roll a die, and on a result of a one, then it would hit the person like as like a, a an accident. fire accident. But then anything else was just you'd go for whatever you were shooting at. So that, that made it decent. Oh, by the way, I'm agreeing with you whole Right, right. On but that. but here's my thing. I, it's it's just like any other super minis game that you get. I had two tackle boxes full of crap, and that game would take forever to set up, forever to tear down. And it was fun, but yet it was kind of just, there was, too many, there was too, there's too many rules for what you got out of this. You know, mm -hmm. like like the, that thing and the, and uh, dumbest, actually, man, we should probably do a top 10 dumbest rules in games. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, everyone's number one. Yeah, that's, actually, that's not a bad idea. Anyway, yeah. sorry. But anyway, it, it, um, and then I was hoping that season two would, would fix it with the reward and all that stuff. I didn't get that far. And it didn't, it just added more, <laughs> more, they had more. like the exploding zombies and the ones, the berserker zombie, I mean it changed it to where if you killed these up close, then you would take damage because it would blow up and you had to shoot them, but then there was other ones you had to shoot up close instead of it far and so, and stuff. So, I mean, it's, it was for the money I spent into that and then I ended up selling the entire thing for like 200 bucks and I, I was out so you full, lost money. I was out $400 on all that stuff and I, and, so, but so I was very sad. So funny enough, I never actually played Zombie Side, but I did own it. I I, I, try, I don't remember. I traded, did some BGD trade. I set it up, you know, got everything set. And that, for, so funny enough, actually, I love setting up games. Like when everyone's like, this takes fifty minutes to set up. I love that. Right. Arkham Horror. Whenever I did all the expansions, it took me like probably two hours. Loved every second of it. Right. Now tear it down, I don't like, but. Uh, that's part of it. Anyway, so I set it up and I was like, this is going to be really cool. I've heard a lot about this game, read the rules, and I was like, this is stupid. Because it wasn't like, it wasn't like your house would roll a die and you have a chance to hit him. It was, they had to have the to target. Hit him first. They were the, it's a, the so you're like, don't move. <laughs> it was pretty much, I don't know how much you know about anime, but it's like, they're basically Goku behind uh, Raditz and they're take the shot. Yeah. It's like, you'll die. Do it. So it's like, I, why, would I, why would I hit you intentionally? It should have been, oh man, damn, I rolled a one. Sorry, you're going to take a damage. <laughs> yeah. So I read that, that actually, I was like, nope. And I was looking at the scenarios, and I was like, so you just go and kill zombies, and that's it? Yeah, the scenarios are kind of weird. Like, because um, you can pretty much say, like, the others are kind of like, hey, move minions around, don't. But there's right. actually, like, stories, and you have those different missions. Right. Like, so, and, yeah. And so it, it was weak with the missions, and it was, um, I don't know. It, 
I think everything. I think they took everything from the first two seasons and was like, okay, this is what we need to do better, this is what we need to do better, mm -hmm. and they did Black Plague because what that game also needed was having the, you know, the little plastic thing that you put your cards in on Black Plague. Yeah. And stuff. Right, they didn't right. have that, so trying to keep track of all that crap in Zombie Side, we had all yeah, the cards, that, that, that little, that little, that little paperclip looking thing. <laughs> and keep track, you know, I mean, it was just like, I don't know, it's just clunky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> if I had played it, it probably would be on this list, but I, I didn't even get to play it because I was like, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be mad at this game. So, all right. So that was your number three. Yep. So number two. two. Another zombie game. You're kidding, man. My last zombie game, and this one. He was even more disappointed. If you say Dead of Winter, I'm going to hate you in the mouth. No, I like it. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, uh, no uh, this one even was more disappointing than Zombie Side. Run, Fight, or Die? Nope, I okay. like it too. Um, is Dead Panic. Um, have I've you ever played Castle one. Panic? I know. You know, uh, def defend them. It's like right, yeah, siege, ta whatever. Uh, tower defense. Tower defense, thank you. Um, um, my family tower. loves Castle Panic. Okay. So I was like, this is a no-brainer, mm -hmm. you know. Like, and plus, they all love zombies. We all—it's a family night when it's not when Walking Dead's on. We all watch Walking Dead and all that stuff. So uh, we're like, this is going to be perfect. And then we played it, and it was a load of shit. <laughs> I'm talking like I could have taken a dump in the box and, and passed it on, and it would have been Be like, ah, oh, I've heard about this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it was—it was so bad. It's so real. I mean, it, I, and I don't know what it is about it. It was just like. It, it was the same game as Castle Panic. I mean, it was a re-thing, which a lot, I mean, Star Trek yeah. Panic, all that. They're all kind of re-things. Right, games. right. But this one was just horrible. I mean, it, like, as soon as we, do you think, we do you, finished do you think the you game. you were probably burned out on zombies at that point? Because there's a lot of zombie games, and like now... And I still own so many. Yeah, and, and still, we still play them, too. really all that good. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> like, the reason why Dead of Winter is so <laughs> good is because it's not about the zombies. They're right. just there. There's something you deal with. It's each other and, you right, know, the right. shitty people. Uh, hell, even the Walking Dead tour games, which aren't that good, were more about the people right, instead right. of the zombies. So no, it was we didn't even finish the game. Really? Like we went through, we were getting close to the end of it, and <laughs> we were all just like, "This sucks." And I, I didn't, I didn't even like organize it. I just picked it up, <laughs> put it in a box, put a lid on it, tossed it over there, and sold it. <laughs> it was just, it was just. No, crazy. and the person who got it was like, "Yeah, I'm not expecting. I didn't expect much." <laughs> Like, that's weird. I've traded with them before, and it's always in nice condition. Well, I, I, I just pretty much told them that it was. Because, you know, like, I mean, I practically gave it to the guy. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand. There's there's sometimes where it's just like, like I, like the top aisle bound and, and city, it's like, you know, they're inherently wrong with the games. It just didn't click for me. Yeah. Um, all right, so that was your number two? Yes. So my number two is a game on Kickstarter, so I was already hyped for it. Asymmetrical game, which I, which sounded really cool. And, okay, go ahead, go ahead. and then we played it at game night, and it was the biggest, cl most clunky... Can I make a guess? Can yes. Is it Dark Souls? No. Okay. No, actually. Okay. okay. Dark I Souls! Was, I was just um, thinking that. No, I thought about Dark Souls, but um, <laughs> in all, in all re reality, it actually is the video game. Okay. But uh, I, it's not on the list because I still have all my Kickstarter stuff that they're sending out in October. So that's going to add, you know, way more bosses, more heroes, more classes. It's going to add, like, summons, like, you know, how you can, you know, help your friends. It's going to add them, like, people, I think, actually, who are in, like, actual people's characters that they mm -hmm. made. They put them in this game. They're adding enemies that can come in and invade your game. They're adding a, a whole bunch of other stuff. So I didn't want to judge the game because I don't have all of it yet. No, it's vast. Crystal Caverns. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Yeah. So, and I, as as well as you should, I wish I could forget this experience. Well, I never played it, but I just... After yeah, I wish I could say... It, I'm not going to play it because you guys... I wish I could say the same. So, <laughs> we went in with an open mind. I like asymmetrical gameplay. Um, I like the fact that it's not we do the same thing, but how I do it was somehow su like superior to you. I like having your own strategy. Asymmetry games allow you to do that. It's like, well, I can do this, you can't. So Vast was uh, like, you're going into, everyone that was a different role. The warrior was meant to go in the cave to kill the dragon. The dragon was trying to escape the cave. The goblins were trying to kill the, the warrior. The thief was, I think, just trying to get treasure. Yeah. Uh, and a person could play the cave, and the cave was trying to cave in and kill everyone. On paper, that sounds fantastic. That sounds so cool. 
because it's like you're not worried about everyone, you're worried about one person. Except they didn't think of how the game was actually going to work. And I don't know how people are enjoying this game because... People love it. I mean, None of it makes sense. Like, we were sitting there... And John's ability, because John was a dragon, the dragon's abilities make no thematic sense at all. He was able to crawl underground and, and move around and blind people. And then also, like, like he, he, had, he had to, like, escape after he had to wake up. But he was moving around while he still needed to wake up. Like sleepwalking. Yeah, that's really <laughs> what it was. And then we're like, okay, fine, let's, maybe it was just phrasing. So, okay, he needed to stand up. I guess. And then he got out, but then he still couldn't leave. Uh, and so at that point, so Robert could win because he was the cave. He was able to turn tiles around. So, But then he had abilities. John, the dragon has abilities where he can dig under, so there was nothing we could do to block him. I had to, it was so clunky. And here's the thing, and I, and I know the Dice Tower has been contradictory on this because they love game, they love this game, but they hate games where the rule book is variants. Mm -hmm. This game doesn't have a, it's not like, hey, here's our game, and here's a few other ways that you can play. This game is here you go, pick a variant you want to play. We couldn't think of how to make this game. How about you decide how to play yeah. this game? Yeah. And on paper, oh, it sounded so cool. I was like, man, each role you can play is different, and uh, everyone interacts differently. And at, at first, the first ten minutes, we, we were still trying to learn the game. And so once it all started to click, we're like, oh, that thematically makes sense. And then we got a little bit more into it, and we're like, wait a minute, no, it doesn't. Wait, so J Chad was playing the goblins, and he couldn't do anything, because every time the dragon would breathe fire, it would light up, and the goblins could only come in darkness and ambush, and they had to run away if they... It was so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. We didn't play with the thief, thank God, but... And then, so basically what I did, John was like, I want to see you do a no-run-through -review, review of this game. He knew I was going to trash it. But I didn't. I was like, this is not worth my time to do it, which is weird to say because of where my number one is. But essentially, I did the same thing. I was just like, just threw it in the box and I gave it to John because he's like, well, there's a solo variant. I'm like, yeah, because there's 15 other variants. And he's like, maybe it's better with solo. And I asked him a week later, he's like, no, it's still awful. Vast. And the reason why I wanted to like it, it sounded so cool, but it ended up sucking so much ass. All right. So that was. That's two, right? So uh, we're on yes, number you're, one. On, you're on number one. Yeah. All right. Let's try and guess each other's number um, one. Okay. I... Games that you wanted to like but didn't. All right, give me a hint. Well, you're going first, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Okay. It is my most hated game. If you watch my channel, you would know, you'll would know. you know it. And if that's not I haven't enough, watched all your stuff, though. Maybe so. I hate you. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. No, okay. It is. Uh, I, 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 I mean, I have a guess okay. going on how you hate games, <laughs> but I'm gonna go off say Summer Wars. No, because I didn't expect to like that okay. game. Okay. Okay. Um, I true. just I gave it a shot because I because I I I'll go out of my way if someone's like it's a deck builder like I played Codex mm -hmm. and I in my mind John was like it's like Magic and Major and, and uh, Major Arena and I should have been like should have backhanded it and be like you don't know me at all because that sounds. I like Mage Arena, or, yeah, Mage Wars. It was Mage Wars Arena, sorry. Yeah. Um, and, but then it was way more like Magic than, uh, uh, than Mage, uh, Mage Wars. But in some of the wars, I didn't go and expect them to like it. Right. So my number one is Assault of the Giants. Oh, damn it. I, I should have known that. I, yeah. that, is my most, I did watch that, one. that is my most recent, I think, no run through review. <laughs> I wanted to like it because it sounds so cool! <laughs> like, first of all, it's set in the Dungeons and Dragons universe, which I, I played a lot of D&D, &D, um, and I knew this lore, and I was like, you play the giant races and you're fighting for the land? And also, there's also these giant slayers that come around, and oh my god! <laughs> like, I should just put a link to my, to my No Run Through review. Essentially, the game components were garbage. The inlay, like I'm, I'm just being, you know, really technical right now, but just I'm just adding like more. The inlay was just that shitty plastic that holds the minis, and then it's like, by the way, here's ten things of pop out. So good luck storing it all, you fucking faggot. <laughs> and, um, they basically, and then it's like the cards. Here's all the cards that we didn't. Basically, it was like if I was making a game, and I was like. 
oh, spells with a, like on paint. And I'm like, here's my card. And I cut them up and glued them together. And I'm like, there we go. And then the, the game, we played it with three. And so you couldn't choose your giants. It was based off of how many players you had. So it was like, That's right. it, so it was like you, you, you couldn't even have that much fun. Like, oh, yeah, I want to be this, the storm giants. That sounds fun. None of them were unique enough. And then you just had these boring ass quests to go on. Fetch quests of go here and then get rid of rune cards that you happen to have that you luckily draw. Or you, I mean, you could do a trade action and draw more cards. Discard the yellow rune and you did it. And then, oh my god. Oh my god. So <laughs> essentially, what we did. And like I said, I really wanted, and like, and my list was composed of kind of the, the ratio of wanted to like, but not. But right, it was really right. more of how much I actually ended up hating the game. Um, so Vast and the Soul of the Giants are two games I will never play again. But the other ones I will. <laughs> yeah. But the Soul of the Giants, what we ended up doing, I mean, if you watched my, I sat there and I was like, yep. And I just broke the mini's arm off. I'm like, this is shit material. You should have bought the really expensive pre-painted edition. <laughs> Except it, uh, I could have painted those minis and probably make them look better. Yeah. And I don't paint minis. Yeah. Um, I'm so glad I didn't. And I'm glad I got it. I went out on a limb on it uh, because it sounded really cool without watching any reviews or gameplay on it. Everybody was talking it up. See, that's funny, because exactly. everyone who commented on it is, were like, this is the shittiest game I've played. Yeah, because like, I remember when they were doing the previews. Uh, for it, like Dice Tower, I was doing previews, and they were like, "Can't wait for this game," you know, and everything. And that was before that. I think they actually had it in hand, right? So, right. and I think sure. they, I think they mentioned it recently, and they're like, "It was all right." Yeah. I mean, whatever. Like, if all right is is good enough, then good for you. Yeah. But uh, what we did, I, I was like, this, these, I broke the components, and then. What we were going to do, we were going to take a shotgun to this thing, but I could never get with John to do it. Everybody so essentially, all I did was sit there, and uh, I was I, whenever I moved, I, ha I still had it. And all I did, I just punched a hole through the box and <laughs> threw it in the trash. I'm like, I hate this game. It was, it's just like, I can't just watch my no run through review over it, because that, at that point, it was really fresh in my mind. All I know is I have seething hatreds for this game. It, I gave it a one. Yeah. Like... And John gave it a two because it works. The game, the game, you can play the game. And inherently, he's right. Um, like, a one really should be for games like Myth, where right. you can't even play the game. Um, you can play this game. But the reason why I justified my one was because at 2017, that is no excuse to, make it, to, to come out right. with a game like that. Right. So yes, two is completely justifiable, but I think one is as well, because games like that should be made anyway. Okay, so what's your hint? All right, my hint was that there's many versions of this game. And I don't like any of them. Oh, there's one version I like. Okay, so is it different editions? Well, not editions, different, okay. different versions. I was going to say talisman. Like, <laughs> different versions, like themes or... Different themes, or, and you don't like any of it. Well, I, I like one version of it. Okay, different... And I wanted to like this one a bunch. Huh. Because it was unique. Man, have I played it? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, okay, see, not addition, so it's not talisman. Right. Good. Because I was like, no, <laughs> you, you put that there to spite me. No, no, no. Um, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Oh. For me? No, for me. Oh, yeah, anybody from, from anyone? This video, probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Um, okay. What does it start with? <laughs> it's Z-Man Games. <clears throat> and that's my last hint. Alright. Z-Man Games. Lots of versions. Fuck, I don't know. Just go. Pandemic no. Legacy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the number one game on BGG. Oh, there are, okay, there are different versions of Pandemic. Yeah, okay. there's all just... I, I don't like any of them. Except for the Cure. The dice version. Uh, you like the least... Popular one, yeah. Which is because it's, it's also the fastest, and you can get more games true. to it and stuff. Okay. Anyway, well, so go ahead and say why you didn't like it. I really wanted to like it because I played Risk Legacy, and I really liked the Legacy thing. And before everything, everybody else started doing this Legacy stuff. Pandemic Legacy came out, and I was like, okay. I was like, I liked Pandemic back in the day when it first came out, and I could 
you know, do it, but then I got so burnt out on it, right? So uh, I was like, legacy can't go wrong. I bought the bought the box, started playing it with my family. I think we maybe won the first month, and then it just got brutal and brutal and brutal, and we lost like five street, and then it's just like just the hell with this game. Okay, you so know? and here's and where they you're don't wrong. Want, they don't want they don't want to play with it anymore. Which kills it automatically. Yeah. Because well, yeah. once you're doing a campaign like that, you can't just. Right. You know, um, I don't want to play it anymore. So. Because it's like, Ch well, Chad said the same thing. Remember how he got his so. Well, he, he messed, messed up on rules. Messed up. Right. Which, which screwed up his game, right, which, right, right. which is a big problem with, with uh, legacy games because right. if you mess up, right. it's a legacy game, you can't you can't go back. Right. So the, here's, the, here's two reasons why I think you didn't like it. One, you didn't really like Pandemic when you went into it right. at that point. That so. Yeah, that could be true. Obviously, you're not going to like anything that has to do with Pandemic, especially, I mean, I didn't, like I, risk, I didn't like Risk, though, going into Risk Legacy. That's why I just like giving it a shot, because I didn't really care Okay, about fair risk, enough. You know? It's like, yeah, cool, because Risk isn't a good game, but they took they took Risk and made something completely different. Right. What they did with Pandemic Legacy was just added pretty much a story to it. Mm -hmm. The game is the same, pretty much, right, yeah, as yeah, Pandemic. Yeah. Risk is not. Yeah, or Risk Legacy is not. But, uh, and then the second thing, you should not have lost five games in a row because then you get like ten event cards, and if you lose with ten event cards, you, you guys just suck. <laughs> I gotta realize. I mean, I, I am playing with kids. That's true. But then too. you can. You, you, I know, and I still kind of. You could probably be, there. yeah, like be like, <laughs> but this I just, is what we're doing. That game, and it's I don't know. I've just <laughs> never had luck. I've, I've, I don't know if I've ever even won pandemic. Really? Ever? Okay. Like except for the cure. I mean, we yeah won that, but but Man. um. So pretty much when I heard second district coming out, I was like, I don't give a crap. And, then, and, then, and another thing that says, you, because you know this about me, is if I don't like a game, I sell it. Yeah. You can't do that with this. That is true. <laughs> I mean, so you spent, I spent, of course, I did get a good deal on it. I guess that's one thing, because in the Joplin Mall, the day after Christmas, that Go, Go Games or Go Calendars uh -huh. or whatever that goes... They yeah, any yeah. board games that have anything that scores fifty percent off, so I got it for like twenty five bucks. There you go. So that's why I bought it. That's the only reason I got it. And then we decided to start playing it, and I'm like, we, we're I don't know what month we're in. We're not. We're just right. Not bad. Yeah. And now I'm like, okay, they don't want to play it anymore. I really don't care to play it anymore. Right. I can't give it. I really can't give it to anybody. I can't do anything with that's it. That's true. You know. That is true. I uh, <laughs> um, I loved it, and I had a blast. I mean, my, the two people I played it was four. Um, and after my girlfriend, because it was just so much stress, and the two people I played with don't really like board games anyway, um, but they stuck it out with me because they knew it was for my channel. Uh, but it was one of the best gaming experiences I've had. Uh, but the, the thing is, is it did spark this trend of legacy games, which people think you can make anything legacy, right. as we saw with Seafall, which now I think could actually ha could have been on this list. I'm actually, I had never played it, so, so I it's, it's I awful. Um, and I really wanted to like it because you would think pirates, a game built on the legacy mechanism, that sounds like a you know a home run. Except whenever you realize that what Rob Davio Davo Davio. has done is he's taken already good games. Like Risk is, I mean, to any gamer, like mm -hmm. game like well, our hobby, it's it's bad. Right. But to any to the layman's person, is uh, is great. Mm -hmm. So it, you can only you're, he's he's made that mechanism on already solid games. Seafall was nothing; it just came from the ground up, and it, it just fell flat. Um, but yeah, wow! I did not expect Pandemic Legacy. Yeah. But you don't like any of the other pandemics. You don't like Cthulhu. You don't like Iberia. Nope. Well, I never played Iberia, so I don't know. But I just automatically have a. You hear Pandemic? I have like a, boo. Yeah. I mean, because I like, I th I like the dice of version. I, I, you, have you ever played The Cure? I don't like dice each, games, really. Well, the cool thing about this is, and I think the thing that just makes this fresh, is each roll has their own set of dice with different faces. Hmm. So if you're, the, if you're the scientist, you have your own dice. Oh, if you're the, okay. If you're the, the one that, yeah, the medic or the one that transports. I can't Dispatcher. Remember. Dispatcher, yeah. You have your own dice, and then when you roll it, they, so it has your own symbols that let you you know, for your stuff. And, mm -hmm. and are you still doing the same thing? Are you still sure? Yeah, yeah it's, so, it, there's a little plastic. So what's the difference system. between doing it that? Takes, and, it takes 40 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, the game of Pandemic probably takes, you know, and the games of Pandemic we played we just drug on unless we died really fast. <laughs> you know, this one at least, this one we have a chance, you know, and it's, it's interesting. I usually win my games of Pandemic 50-50. Yeah. Um, 
but wow, I did not expect that <laughs> to be your number one. Thank you, all kinds of um, on that one. Yeah, it's so good. Anyway, but that's your number one. That is our top ten games we ex we wanted to like but didn't. Let us know what games you really wanted to like but ended up hating or not liking or fell flat for you in the comments below. If you have any other top ten ideas that you'd like to see, also let us know because then we're, we can probably definitely do them. Um, especially him with his plethora of games. Yes. It's a little harder for me. But, uh, but that's another one I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to support us, you can go ahead and click that link to go to my Patreon account. If you have any suggestions, you can go ahead and click the link in the show notes below to go to my board game Beat geek list. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.